Welcome to class, everyone. We are behind the scenes of a premiere that is just about to begin in a few minutes. And I just turned my camera on here because I was trying to write some responses to people and it just takes too long to type. You only have 200 characters uh, with which to do so. And I wanted to address a bunch of the different comments that are here. So the first thing I want to show you though is what the video is about that's about to premiere. It is called Rapper Travis Scott is an animal abuser. So we look over here and it's going to be again in six minutes time. And there are 122 people waiting and chatting right now. And I want to thank everybody for 137,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate your support here to help me save animals. If you haven't yet watched these important documentaries, don't forget to do so. Don'twatch.org and watchdominion.com. Please take a screenshot of them right now. You have a second? Just take a screenshot and make sure that you watch them. The one called don'twatch.org is only seven minutes long. And the other one, Watch Dominion, is a full-length docu documentary where you're going to learn why I am here. You will really understand if you watch those documentaries about what goes on in the meat, dairy, and egg industries. So first of all, I want to thank everybody who is in blue here. You are amazing animal rights activists and defenders. And I love it when you guys decorate things and remind people to go vegan like this. It's, I consider this sort of a wallpaper type thing. And uh, thank you everybody for being here. So let's have a look if I can respond to a few of your comments. So um, there's some people that are, the moderators, like I said, they're in blue, they are teaching assistants. I don't discriminate against age as long as they're an ethical vegan, they are welcome to teach, whether they are a child even, or they are an adult. I'm fine with it, as long as their parents are okay with their, when, if they're a child, of course. And what I ask you to do is wear your uniform. Here's an example of a uniform. You write the word vegan, underscore, then you write your first name, underscore, then you write the city that you're in, and, and then, oh, this should be an underscore, I guess a comma, whatever is okay, I guess. And then Canada, that's a country, and then your another score in your age. So this way we can have a little bit of a sense of which uh, time zone that you're in and a little bit of an idea of who you are. I urge you to tell the truth. Don't worry, you're not, as long as you don't give your, your family name and you don't give your street number or your house number or whatever, it's, it's totally internet safe. Don't give out any more information than that. This is just a way for us to get to know each other. You all know me, you know what I look like, you know my age, everything else. So it's just a way to help people bond a little bit. Okay, so let's look at here. So somebody says, yes, go non-vegan. So now that's a ridiculous thing to say. Why would you encourage someone to pay for animal abuse? So I'm gonna remove your comment. I'm also just gonna put you in a timeout. This is a vegan classroom, so act appropriately. We're here to teach vegan facts. I love animals, but won't make my dog vegan. Well, it's not, it's not that difficult. You just go and you order vegan dog food. In fact, I was just speaking to a vet just the other day that I met at a coffee shop and she was saying vegan dog food is great. Sometimes they put dogs specifically on vegan dog food who have allergies to other things and they thrive on it. So why not give it a try? Buy vegan dog food. Hey, I'm vegan, but don't but don't be mean to Sniper Wolf. <laughs> of course, uh, you're not vegan if you think that I'm being mean to Sniper Wolf. Sniper Wolf pays for the rape the torture, the enslavement, the kidnapping, and the murder of innocent animals who never did a single thing wrong to her. She's an animal abuser. I will tell her that she's an animal abuser, and if you don't like it, you are free to leave. Greg, you are not helping whatsoever. Don't defend animal abusers. That's not what vegans do. Vegan James is what I like to see in the moderators. Okay, I don't know what Vegan James is doing, but now I'm getting pretty suspicious. Let's look over here. Um, you do not come to class if you didn't wear, do your homework. Oh, that's fine. I like that one so far. Okay, let's have a look here. Vegan James is saying, you pay people in the meat industry to rape females by forcing cows and pigs to be pregnant without consent. You follow this up by stealing the babies and eating them. Thank you for copying my comment of Vegan James. That is exactly what I expect people to do here. Unless you are, are really an ethical vegan and already you know really understand what you're talking about. Otherwise, you can learn by copying and pasting the various comments that I put down because you will make sure that they were in, in 200 characters or less and you'll be educating people who are visiting. So thank you so much for that. Uh, what do you have? I'm afraid of what she's gonna say. No, why would you be afraid? You know that I'm just here to defend animals and I will just call out animal abusers. That's what I'm doing. Stephen Hawking once said that the veg said, eat vegetables and you will be, and you will be the vet. I don't know what that means. Uh, if, if Stephen Hawking said that, well then he's obviously not as smart as I thought he was. <clears throat> go vegan, go vegan, good idea. Vegan Claire says, in the egg industry, baby chick boy, boy chicks are murdered in a giant blender on their first day of life because they won't be able to lay eggs. The farmers steal the female's eggs and kill them for meat. And it's very sad, you're right. I'm sorry, uh, Claire, that you're only 13 years old and you have to know what goes on, but I applaud you. I'm so proud of you for being an animal rights activist, for being vegan, for being brave enough to be here. You could do anything else right now and you choose to do this to help vegans, to help the animals. 
You are an absolutely exemplary child. Thank you so much for being here. Vegan Mark is 72 years old from Saskatchewan, Canada. Thanks for being here, uh, Mark. I'm never going vegan, said every single one of us too. Yeah, until we learned the truth and opened our hearts. I hope you will join us one day and help us save the animals. Thank you, Mark, for being here. This is great. I just love the fact that we have people of all different ages here. And I welcome you. If you're vegan and watching this, please join me. Wear your uniform and just show up and I will notice you teaching. Let's see here. We have somebody who you're vegan, Morgan, Texas. Uh, it's never too late to be kind and go vegan for the animals. That's absolutely true. Keep going and keep teaching and maybe I will make you into an animal rights a moderator here on this channel, meaning a teaching teaching assistant. Um, Masia Yasila, if it's possible, please wear the uniform unless you already show your face on your your own YouTube channel. Uh, or if it's possible, you can sign in under a, a open a new account. But it's really important that people that are moderators wear the uniform when possible. But thank you here for writing this. Uh, Happy Vegan Declaration Day. Uh, that's great. Uh, Histo says um, rescue. Uh, okay, no, this is a private conversation, so I won't enter that. Wait till, well, not private, it's public, obviously, but I don't know, they're talking to another person. Wait till vegans realize that there are animal products in their devices and they are using right now. Uh, vegans know that the world is not perfect. Veganism is not about being perfect. It's about doing your best as much as is possible and practicable at the moment. And we know, all of us know that computers are essential. And when they, meaning the whole world, becomes more vegan, they will find ways to make these things without hurting animals. There's no reason to hurt animals. And if there is a minute amount of a, an animal product in, a, in something that you need, such as the tires on a bus, it doesn't mean you're not gonna ride the bus. It means you do your absolute best three times a day. See, you're just making excuses for your wanting to keep on abusing animals. Georgia, just stop it right now. Seriously, three times a day with the meals that you eat, stop eating dairy, meat, and eggs, and stop trying to find fault in everybody else. Cows belong in hamburgers, no they don't. Time out for you. Thank you everybody for being here. And when we hear the music, this is a time to start spamming vegan foods and to remind people to subscribe. So thank you everybody for being here. I really do appreciate it. If you wanna know how to put these little uh, things here, you go like this. If you want a little uh, seedling, you can go like this. You can just put anything you want, a banana. Here's a banana. <laughs> All right, and then you just post it. Did I spell it right? Oh no, I missed something, sub. Oh, I missed an S there. Boop. Here we go, Miss Katie. For those of you who are new here, my name is Miss Katie. I'm that vegan teacher. I'm 57 years old. I live here in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And my sole reason for existing right now is to help save the animals from so much torture that I paid into these industries for years. I feel so guilty. I feel absolutely horrible that I used to eat meat, that I used to eat dairy products, that I ate eggs. And now I realize how wrong I was. And my goal is to help to stop other people from feeling as bad as I do. I've been vegan since June 27th, 2016. It's been well over five years now. I'm perfectly fine, and I hope that you will all become vegan too. Here is the uh, beginning music. You can see the countdown going on right now. This is great. I wanna thank 172 people for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be with me here in this school, in that vegan teacher's school. I really do appreciate everybody who's here, even the haters, and especially the haters. Thank you for taking the time. It takes a hundred clicks to become vegan. The message has to get into your head, into your heart. You have to really understand why we are here. We're gonna watch a little bit of this at the beginning and then I'm gonna come back to the comment section. I'm gonna walk, listen to a little bit of the speech that I'm talking about here, just to give you a sense of what the video is about. You can go and watch this video later if you want to. Travis Scott. The rapper, he's an animal abuser. He gets sponsored by McDonald's. He encourages millions and millions of people to keep going there. I'm not okay with it. Did you hear what happened to him recently at his concert? He witnessed the death of many people. They all rushed the stage. 50,000 people at his concert wanted so badly to get so close to this guy that they crushed each other. They were packed together so tightly that they couldn't breathe. Some of the victims were as young as 10 and 14 years old. Why would anyone want to go and see somebody who's an animal abuser who gets sponsored by McDonald's? 
As a society, we need to get our heads on straight. If you're ever going to get crushed by a bunch of people because you're doing an activity, it better be because you are rushing into factory farms to save animals. That's a good way to die. You get crushed because you're rushing the stage to go and what, touch, touch the foot of him, be in his aura? He's an animal abuser. Stop. Stop paying for the imprisonment, the enslavement, the rape, torture, kidnapping, and murder of innocent animals who didn't want to die. Don't follow people who get sponsored by McDonald's or any of those places. That should have been your first clue, all of you people who went to see his concert. What were you thinking? Don't follow the crowd. Think for yourself. Here, let me put it in writing for you so maybe it'll help you remember. Here. Stop following the crowd. Think for yourself. Stop wasting your life. How do you think you're wasting your life? What do you think you're doing right now? Can you figure it out? This guy promoted one of his concerts. It was live on so, on a, something called, I don't know, Fortnite. You can, you can stream it, whatever. 12 million gamers watch one of his concerts. So are these the elite of society? Are these the top level thinkers? I offer you this. Stop playing video games. Use your time to learn and save the world instead. Okay, I'm gonna take that moment there to turn the volume down and I'm gonna go back over here to the comment section and pay attention to you guys. If you guys wanna watch the rest of that video, you know what to do. Go to That Vegan Teacher, subscribe, press the notification bell, and then when they are posted, you won't miss them. You will be right there. And uh, you can be with me here in the comment section also to type things. So let's have a look at what we got here. Some other comments. Oh, everything's going really fast here. Um, somebody says, I love playing video games and that's why I'm smart. Mm, I doubt that. Playing video games takes away your time to learn from history. We need to learn from history so we will stop making the same mistakes that people made before. And in this particular video that I'm talking about here, a bunch of people rushed the stage and if they had learned from history, they would have known that that's not a good idea. That's how you get crushed. This is not the first time it's happened. It's happened at soccer games, at all kinds of places where there's crowds. It's best to not follow the crowd and it's best to really stay on the perimeter when there's a crowd and be the voice of reason. Don't do drugs. Don't drink alcohol. Stay sane and be ready to save people instead of being part of the problem. What do we have here? Subscribe and press the bell to help get animals out of hell. Exactly, Vegan Morgan Texas 25 says. So I'm gonna press show on this and then guy will go ahead and see if this person can be a moderator. Let's put you here and see if they're gonna be a moderator or if they're going to be a fake person who's trying to troll. There's always trolls trying to get in. They think it's funny, but it doesn't bother me that much honestly because I think if they're trying to get in, they're at least learning something. They're hanging around and uh, so you know, you're welcome to try. Uh, I would much prefer that you just observe and don't waste too much of my time, but um, you should also not be uh, asking to be a moderator. Here, see, can I be a moderator, please? I'm vegan from now. No, you, first of all, you don't have your, your uniform on properly. It's, it shouldn't say me I'm the hedgehog. It should say your first name. Then it should say uh, where you're from, the city, the country, and your, your age, all right? So somebody says here, imagine being so desperate to be sponsored by a slaughter factory. Thank you, Bavani. Thank you. What else do we have here? Um, I eat vegan phobic too. Well, there's no such thing as vegan phobic too. To, to be vegan phobic means that you are somebody who is, it's the same, similar to being racist or to be homophobic. It means that you are uh, cruel to animal rights activists. You attack the activists. That's what vegan phobia is. Don't be vegan phobic. Don't be homophobic. Don't be racist. Don't be ageist. Don't be ableist. Animals deserve a bill of rights. There's no reason to hurt or use animals. This does not mean we think animals should have the right to vote, but they should have the right to live in peace and not ha be harmed, not be murdered. What else do we have here? We have the same rights as you. We get to have our own opinions. Uh, yeah, you can have your own opinion, but your opinion is wrong if you think it's okay to hurt others. 
if you were the victim, you would absolutely love me. And you would say to, your, to anybody who was trying to hurt me, thank you for not uh, hurting Miss Katie. You would say, thank you, Miss Katie, for defending me. That's what you would do. Please be as vegan as possible, everyone. Happy Vegan Declaration Day, says Histo. Yeah, thank you. I had to, what does it say? I had to, oh, where did it go? I missed it. It goes so fast sometimes that I can't respond. Wait, I swear, oh, now where did it go? I start a sentence and I, okay, let me just let this go and then I'm going to see if I can read something. I know you guys are reading stuff I'm missing. Can I be a moderator? Okay, no, not yet. You get your uniform on. Uh, I'm sorry for that. I don't know what you're responding to. Um, anyone wish that TVT, that's, that vegan teacher, never existed? The only reason you're saying that, Energy uh, Sheriff, is because you, know, you feel guilty for eating animals and you don't like the fact that I bring it up to you. But isn't it fascinating? If you don't want me to exist, you can literally never be here. You can just put your hands over your ears and close your eyes and say, la, 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 I'm not listening. You don't have to be here. See, this is proof that you absolutely do love the fact that I'm here. You do love me. You know that I'm doing the right thing and that's why you're here. Because you know that deep down you don't want to hurt animals and you know that deep down you want to be vegan. So thank you for being here. Somebody's blocking all the moderators. Okay, well, then how about I just put you in a timer, timeout then? That's silly. Okay, what else do we have? Playing video games. Oh, there's a comment I wanted to see. Uh, screw you, I like video games. I'm sure you do like video games. You know, there's all kinds of things we like, but it doesn't mean that they're, they're good for us. Do the things that are good for you. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. I hope I was able to respond to a couple of your comments. The video is now over. Please like and subscribe. You can see on the screen there, there's a bunch of videos, and also on our screen there will be. But just quickly, I'm going to go over a couple of different things. If you're an animal rights activist, please keep some comments, like, like I do here in a bank. And what you do is you can uh, copy-paste them anytime you uh, have an opportunity here during a premiere. For example, uh, animals deserve a bill of rights. Animals deserve the right not to be used in la laboratory, uh, in cruel or unnecessary experiments, okay? In a lab, there should be a, I should write a letter A here, in a lab. Okay, animals deserve a bill of rights. Animals, including pigs, chickens, cows, all deserve an environment that satisfies their basic physical needs and psychological needs. Companion animals have a right to be to a healthy diet, protective shelter, and adequate medical care. Wild animals have a right to a natural habitat, ecologically sufficient to uh, a normal uh, existence and self-sustaining species population. Animals deserve a right to have their interests represented in court and safeguarded by the law of the land. Yeah. And by the way, if you don't know about this, Barnivore is a site you can go to uh, that tells you if your beer or wine is vegan or not. Just go there and type in the brand you have and check before buying. That's it. Thanks for doing your best to be vegan. Be kind to the activists. Use the hashtag vegan supporting vegans on Instagram and TikTok. You duet one another's videos. Share them. Be supportive of one another. Be kind to the activists. Buy the vegan versions of things. Buy the vegan version of things like vegan ice cream, vegan milk, vegan cheese, vegan burgers, vegan egg replacer, and vegan sausages. And Google vegan recipes to learn how to make things taste great. And if you uh, don't know what happens to the baby boy chicks in the industry, you can see this, how they're shredded at just one day old. It is heartbreaking, just heartbreaking. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the truth here. This is what is really terrible about social media. Same thing on TikTok and Instagram. Animal rights activists are desperate to show you the truth, but our videos are banned or they are put uh, out of the cycles or they are demonetized every time we try to tell you the truth. The meat, dairy, and egg, egg industries are very powerful. They want you to keep buying their products. It's really sad. It's really unfortunate because if everyone was uh, able to know the truth, we would certainly have a, a better world. If your cat is not vegan, you can join a Facebook group called Vegan Cats for that. Um, anyway, you can see here the comments are rough. This is my own, these are my own private notes. They're roughly uh, in, in kind of a, a alphabetical order there. All the letters C's, then the D's, and so on. So it goes all the way down here, all the way to F and H. I talk about halal meat and how it's wrong, and I talk about all kinds of things. And um, I want to just try to get down to the, the, the letter V because I want to talk to you a little bit about Vistopia and vegan phobia in case you don't know. By the way, there is a nutrition section here as well um, about uh, protein, calcium, iron, and so on. I, I do post these comments often and I encourage you to do the same. So there's, yeah, plants don't have feelings. I, this is another one that's a, a section that people often ask about. By the way, if you don't know what Challenge 22 is, join that. Join, join Challenge 22 for fun to learn how to become vegan. It's free. They teach you everything you need to know. They even have vegan dietitians there and individual help. 
Plants react to stimuli like the sun and the rain, but they do not feel pain. Nature would have made them able to run or fly or swim away if they did. Eat plants, not pigs. If you truly think that plants feel pain, they don't, then you should still be vegan. You will consume even less of them as they won't be filtered through animals first. So be smart and be vegan. Plants don't feel pain. If you think that plants feel pain, then when your friend's house is on fire, are you going to save the cucumber in the fridge first? or their pet cat. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so let's keep going here. All the way down to the V's and see if we can find the word vegan phobia, which is, as I said before, uh, cruelty towards animorous activists. And it is a proven thing that vegans are among the most hated people on the planet. And that is because they tell the truth and you don't wanna hear it. They make you feel guilty and you need to be made to feel guilty because you need to change. The animals don't have time to wait. Whoops, I think I went past it. I went down to a, a bunch of extra things. Okay, uh, U, V. Here's Vistopia. Vistopia is the anguish of being vegan in a non-vegan world. If you are suffering, please know that you're not alone. It's not easy when family and friends don't become vegan alongside us. So that's another comment I wanted you to see about Vistopia and about vets. Okay, be careful when consulting your vet. Have you ever wondered why vets eat animals? Imagine you found out your doctor was slicing, slicing humans on his plate at dinner. How weird would that be? All vets should be vegan. True. And vegan phobia is deliberate cruelty to animal defenders. It's everywhere. Vegans are born vegan just like that. Black people are born black. We never wanted to hurt animals. It's in our nature. So return home now. Thanks everyone for being here. Please subscribe, press the notification bell. Help me get these animals out of hell. Coming up on the screen are going to be a bunch of other videos. Be curious. Look around that vegan teacher's site. Have a look and see if you can find any videos that I did about Gordon Ramsay, that other animal abuser, and all kinds of other people, including Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, um, SS Sniper Wolf, and also some videos where you see I'm outside of McDonald's or other fast food restaurants where I'm giving my opinion about what goes on. Thanks for being here. Bye for now. Do 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 do.